Monday, so the mother made the allegations on Friday. Friday was May 7th. I'll never forget that date as long as I live. I was a, a bus driver for Head Start in Lorain County. I went to do my morning route, and my boss was there and asked me to come downtown after I finished my morning route. He told me that somebody had come forth and accused me of molesting their child. Instead of taking your daughter and the other kids to school, you took them to your boyfriend's house and had a birthday party where you molested them. I mean, I was devastated. I was like, what are you talking about? I didn't know what to do at that point. I had a prosecutor that didn't care. He wanted a conviction, and he didn't care how he got that conviction. Let's go 22. Is that fine, just the court? Um, Maestro, funny. can I just introduce um, the group to a very special person, Nancy Smith, the real Nancy Smith? I know she wants to hug you. <laughs> yeah, do, do it, do it. Oh, hi. Asking constantly, oh my God, hello. It's not so good. <laughs> it's a real honor. I'm so happy you're here. It's and an honor for you guys to do this. Yeah. It's important. We know yeah. the job is important. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nancy. Thank so you. Much. I just, I don't want to let her go. I want to, I just want to love her. I just, she deserves so much so much love. She was robbed, you know, and her children were robbed and her family. And when I am in it, when I'm singing it, it's, I don't know, I, just, I, step, I step into her. And I just get so overwhelmed because I feel just this extreme, extreme sense of duty. We all want law and order. We all want right. to be safe. We all want to be protected. But at what cost do we have? Like, you know, uh, do we do we support people who are like tough on crime? You know, I mean, it's like we can have we can have a law abiding and and, and safe society without these miscarriages of justice. It right. seems. But I mean, some of those people that are tough on crime go a little overboard. Well, they they break the law. Yes, they do, and they're not held accountable. That's the sad thing, you know. You're they're not held accountable for what they've done to somebody's life. No. I drove a bus for Head Start. These days I groomed all. I thought it was really important that their voices be part of the score. They were put in this awful situation, and their question is how am I going to deal with this, and what kind of person am I going to be? And this tells the story of a society that's asking the same question what kind of society are we going to be? We didn't want to put this story on stage. We wanted it to be intimate, and um, the audience, in a sense, becomes the jury. OK, so do you want to do this part one more time? Whatever you can. And... Success looks like we have been successful in creating a platform for civil public discourse that they will think of wrongful convictions in a new light and that this will maybe spawn a broader debate about how is this possible? How can we allow this? What can we do to change it? For me, that is success. Then we've done something good with the horrible wrong that's been done to these people. And I just thank you once again for doing this and just bringing this to light so, for just so many to see, you know, the tragic and, and the um, heartache that we went through and our families went through. Thank you. Thank you.